Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Libra. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Libra, let's see. I don't have a channel message for you, but that's okay. <laughs> let's see. All right, first card coming out is the blonde female. Um, so someone could have blonde hair, strawberry blonde hair, platinum blonde hair, blonde. This also may talk about somebody being in the dark or not knowing or um, not having knowledge of, um, being ill-informed here. Um, so what even go as far to say is stupid or dumb. And maybe that is stupid or dumb in terms of a, a specific thing. You know, it's not as if. Um, their whole existence, their whole, you know, who they are is stupid and or dumb. Um, maybe they are just not knowledgeable about, okay? Um, so the blonde female is coming up here. And it, it could be not being not knowledgeable about because you weren't taught or you weren't told. So maybe you could be in the dark about something. So the blonde female is coming up or you could just be blonde. Okay, take it as that. You could just have blonde hair or someone around you does. Let's see the dark male. Okay, so you could be dealing with Hispanic male, uh, African American, Native American, Middle Eastern, someone with a darker hue to their skin, Australian, Aborigine, I mean anyone, right? Um, maybe with curlier hair, um, the Rico Suave type, they know they're sexy, they're outgoing, they get a lot of attention. Um, let's see, freedom. So this is kind of like um, a relationship where there's no strings attached here. Um, maybe someone may have even come to you and said, you know, I want my freedom. I don't want to be tied down. I don't want to have any real attachments or strings, you know, to this connection, this relationship, to whatever it may be. You may be in the dark about the fact that this person really is not connected to you. Um, wants to have a carefree connection or relationship. Libra. Um, past love. It could be someone from your past. It could be someone who has longer hair. I don't know. Dreadlocks. Longer curlier hair. I don't know. Um, this could be someone who um, it just didn't work in the past. Things broke down in the past and now this person could be resurfacing. You could be sur resurfacing in this person's life um, or vice versa. You may have told this darker male that you wanted your your freedom. You want to get out there. You want to do whatever it is you want to do. Um, it could be someone that you work with or you're just more focused on work right now. You could be telling your person that you need more freedom. There could be somebody in the past that is on your heart and mind. Or maybe someone that you work with. Expect the unexpected from the least expected person. Uh, talks of, of that, maybe a piece of jewelry, a gift, maybe even an engagement ring from the least expected person. From the element of surprise, someone feels like you are a true gem too. Wow. And it could be money. Money is associated with this. Money could be associated with your work and your work ethic. You need to work more. You met this person at work. Wow. Because of what you do, who you are, how you look. You could be the beauty queen. You could be getting a lot of attention, living your best life, dressing well. Um, on social media, people see you maybe have some platform also. You could be getting money from your platform. Something that you have to offer is a true gem. It is um, truly respective to you. Your cards are falling out. There's a young female involved here. So we get lots of young people and people in the dark.
What is this about? Okay, thank you, Lord God, for blessing Libra with them. Somebody sees you. They they aspire to be like you. You can have children um, or young adults, young adult women around you, and they want to be like you. They want to do what you do. They respect your gift. Um, they see that you're a true gem, um, that they can make money like you make. What is this? We have some jealous women, and I do want to say that we got some other women here who may be looking in on your life, and they have the the green eye now. Um, they are green eyed. Um, they want what they don't have, what they don't possess, but they see you possess it here. This could be the other woman. Um, this person can't cope with the fact that something is over. Um, it's a no go. There were relationship issues. A relationship could be over. The answer is no here with the death card coming out. Even though someone showed up in someone else's life as a sweetheart, as a person with good intentions, a good heart, good nature about themselves. Again, the element of surprise here. Something that started horribly, terribly, could actually turn out really good for you. Really well. Hmm. There are a lot of people seeking your time, your energy, pleasure seekers, desiring, craving, longing to be with you, be around you, be like you. And this could be in your work sector. We've got work coming up again, or in your environment, or in your home. Or there's two women who talk about you, who gossip about you. They desire to be like you. They see you as a beauty queen. They see you as living your life, getting money, doing what you do. As you, what you do, you could do from home. You are a true gem here. Um, again, they gossip. They talk about you. They have frivolous conversation about you. Meaningless. They're irregular and fickle when they deal with you. But they want you to be constant here when you deal with them. These people could be feeding somebody else outside of you information, knowledge about you. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Be cautious of people coming into your home. Yeah, I want more than one person. What do I do? So there's somebody here who... Um, this male, because he's the only male on the board, he could have a lot of women. This male could put you up on a pedestal, but he has other women here. And they these other women know that you're on the pedestal. This is who, who he really regards, who he really has respect for, who he really desires to be with. And they are jealous. They are green-eyed. They want what they don't possess, what you have. Someone is saying, I'm aware of the shit I've done. Please forgive me. It's like someone wants your forgiveness. They want you to turn your face back to them. It's almost as if you just turn your energy to yourself. You're out living your life. You're out doing what it is you want to do. Um, someone is saying, we both are cheaters, so when I get back together, again, someone wants to get back together with you, but they're saying, I'm the devil's spawn. They are no good, and they know it. Um, I can't give you what you deserve, but I do want you back crazy. And I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. Whew. I don't know if that's you, Libra, or the other person. Libra, man, you have a lot of women around you. You have one that you might be obligated to, okay? And one that you might even want to eventually get married to. Um, you still have your reservations about this person, okay? Um, it says, your love disrupted my loveless life. Yes, I do have mental issues. It's not a laughing matter. And I'm about to call you or text you. Whomever you're not in contact with, they're going to call you. They're going to text you. Someone does have mental issues. Um, seek help. Seek the help and the clarity that you need to move forward to have better relationships in your life. Um... So I want to say I'm not taking responsibility for you being hurt. It's almost as if they, they're saying to you, you knew what this was. Um, 
someone knows that they're just not bad. I mean, that they're, they're just not good. They are bad for you. Um, they're aware of all the things that they've done because they know that they're just not good. And they're not coming from a place of goodness. Maybe from a place of darkness or maybe even evil. I don't think. Give me one chakra card for Libra. What's the one chakra card Libra should be focused on moving forward? Chakra card for Libra. Okay. Right. Believe in you, solar plexus. Okay, so cultivate a better solar plexus. Google solar plexus. Do some solar plexus meditation, healing work. Because you're on some platform and it's bringing you money or it could bring you money. Something that you possess is a true gift, a true gem unto you. Do expect the unexpected from the least expected thing, person, place, or thing. Um, if someone is um, irregular, hot and cold in terms of you or your money has been up and down here. Um, you're going to get some message here that what you've been doing is contrary to what you say you really want. Um, you also may get a message from someone who is contrary to, to what you've been putting out in the universe. This is not the right person. This is not the person for you. But they miss you. They long for you. They're dedicated to themselves. They're dedicated to their work. They're dedicated to just them, their position. And they're willing to do fight, I mean, do battle about this. Um, and they're not willing to resolve some issues that you guys have between each other they know that you desire to be in a commitment um but it says what is constant will stay constant so if it is good it will stay good if it is bad it will stay bad um also be unmovable in terms of what it is you want be believe in you okay all right one tarot card to sum up the reading because we did not have weekly readings this week one tarot card to sum up the reading for wow the sun card positivity radiance light blessing shine your light Libra you have something here shine it even brighter if you feel like you are shining shining brighter get into the groove of work because you have something here that can bring you a lot of prestige money um, it has something to do with maybe talking to other people, giving a position about uh, people-related issues. Libra, if this resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Uh, or book an oracle reading like this one, or any reading. You can also ask a question or two by texting the number below. Paying for your question, receiving the answer to your question on your mobile device. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. You could buy me a coffee. Um, click the link. It says buy me a coffee. Uh, also, Libra, if you're in a place where you feel like you need to release, relinquish negative, negativity, negative emotions, fear, and anxiety, people, places, things, trauma, situations, events, take part in the full moon release ritual okay all links are below for this ritual it will help you uh use the energy of the full moon to release to start anew okay thank you libra many blessings to you